I hope no college professor didn't make this shit because you about to get embarrassed. Oh boy. Every time an unhinged madman pops off a few school children in the US, ardent defenders of the Second Amendment usually rattle off the line, If we ban guns, should we ban cars too because they kill more people than guns do? And the answer is, HELL YEAH! Just, just go ahead and pause immediately. Yep. Uh, th okay. Let's First of all, here. both are retarded arguments. Second of all, guns save vastly more people than they kill, and also you're more likely to be stabbed to death. So that's not. Let's not even play that shit. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not get into the whole gun argument because that's a whole other. No, issue. That, no, that's the end of the gun argument. <laughs> uh... Also, you immediately start with the uh, trying to paint your opponent as stupid. That uh, here we go. Uh, this is going to be a funny video, isn't oh, it? Oh boy. 1.25 million people die a year from car crashes. That's nearly the entire population of Maine every single year, and the population of Pennsylvania world. since 2010. I, I don't. And if we include what, car accident-related, no pause. I already. What is the statistic coming from? Worldwide, <laughs> country, North America, the city of D Detroit. Where, where is this coming from? No scale, bro. And why do they die? I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna like walk outside and go check the mailbox and then get ran over by a random Dodge Challenger. He said car crashes, right? <laughs> Did he say car crashes or die in cars? Something. It's hell yeah. <laughs> 1.25 million people die a year from car crashes. That Car crash. Okay. Car crashes are a result of people being incompetent, not because of the vehicle. Exactly. A bunch of people die firefighting every year. Do you ban firefighting? No. Obviously, the benefit of having firefighters vastly outweighs the amount of people who die. This is a retarded argument. Same reason we have military. Not, not firefighters, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. You can use this argument to literally, di like, why do we have a military? A bunch of Stupid. people die every year in the military. We, we shouldn't have a military. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice statistic, dumbass. Uh, that's nearly the entire population of Maine every single year, oh, and the population of Pennsylvania anything. since 2010. That if we include car accident related injuries and disabilities, this brings our total up to 50 million people per year, or the entire no, population the of South of people, Korea yeah, received. the amount of people with casualties or injuries. <laughs> okay. So you're already trying to fucking gaslight. And we're what, two minutes, a minute in the video? Being whiplash one day. Over a 10 year period, that's anywhere between 200 million and 500 million people injured, or give or take no, the entire US works. population. That's not only not do. That works. Uh, it, you're using estimations. That's completely and utterly deranged. Cars 10 years ago are not the same as cars from now, and they won't be the same 10 years into the future. Safety features, and etc get added to every generation of car. The fact that you even tried to make an estimation argument shows that you have no clue what the fuck you're talking about or just signing off shit you found. Ha has you. this person went outside is my only question. Like, No, because people, he obviously exists either on the internet or on a debate team, and in those two very specific circumstances, everybody argues on one definitions and two statistics. Nobody will actually ever cite experience life experience which is actually a real measure you cannot go up to somebody who's fought five wars and say well statistically the action you're doing has a chance has a higher chance to kill you than being successful no it's not how that works and two like the, the, this is a retarded argument that never use arguments from estimation it's just stupid uh, i like how just swayed the statistics are like mm, yes it, it's like it's like going up to somebody Big number. who like lived through like something like it. it uh, it's it's like ten year period. And how many people are born every year? Just taking the, the ten year period. 
You sound like an utter deranged retard. Fun pause. Cars directly kill people, they indirectly kill people too. A fifth of all greenhouse gas emissions in Europe come pause, from cars. Pause, pause. Greenhouse emissions don't kill people. End of story. If they kill people, we be in a big trouble. They don't kill people. And if you're about to say asthma, <laughs> I hope you don't say asthma because fucking, oh, no, 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 clueless. Come from cars and the effect on the local environment is even worse. 30 UK cities are over the limit of what is considered safe air to breathe and a further 17 are just at the limit, leading to 1 in 19 deaths being caused by pollution. What does that mean? How do you calculate this? <laughs> like what? 1 in 19 deaths caused... How do you calculate the what? effect? How does pollution kill somebody? <laughs> do they just go outside and because your cities are so shit they just inhale 200 pounds of smog into their lungs and like can't choke and die? How does that work? <laughs> Like, I hope, you know what they probably did? This is probably actually the amount of lives shortened by pollution. And this is a very different statistic. Killing and shortening are very different things. But, same reason why COVID cases were so inflated. It's not the same thing at all. You have to be very specific when you use statistics. Otherwise, you're just lying. And you're very much lying here, because how the hell does some gas in the air kill somebody? Hey. <laughs> it's not like chlorine or methane. It's not like they just inhaled. Don't, like they're, don't they're plants, back in the gas chambers, and they're just inhaling. That's not how that works. Don't plants literally rely on CO2? Like, if you get rid of all the CO2, how are the plants going to even fucking breathe? Because they literally use that shit. Um, the natural carbon cycle. <laughs> anyway, uh, first of all, uh, it, uh, this is also, would... also most of the uh, CO2 is used by literal plankton floating in the ocean, uh, which is another reason why the trees thing is so retarded. But uh, I'm paused. The, like, the plants should be getting a boost from all this shit, like. They they should they, be getting they, very much fed are. by by CO two, because the CO two helps the plants because they literally convert it to oxygen. In Barcelona, three thousand five hundred people die each year because of bad air. Car exhaust emissions work? certainly play a role in that. How do you calculate that? Uh, wow. Bro, bro, never in my life have I heard somebody say that like somebody died of bad air. Like, huh? How do you calculate the bad air? Ah, uh, yeah. The, yeah my, what's the chemical makeup of the air? How much of it is exhaust emissions? Yeah, my grandma died of bad air. I, I, how do you calculate that? <laughs> I, I just want to know, how do you calculate the amount of people dying from bad air? It's like calculating the number of people who died from the fluoride they put in your water. I swear to God. Brain damage. You could just say we can switch to electric or self-driving vehicles, which don't have emissions and are safer than human drivers, but that doesn't solve any of the other problems that cars can cause in nope, cities. Nope, 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 pause. And that is the biggest... This is this video is already done. You, first of all, blanket statemented. Two, electric cars do not have no emissions. Two... Self-driving cars are not automatically electric, so nice leap in logic there. I don't know where you get, like, the, the, the fact that you even mentioned electric I, I... to solve the bad air, which also is very strange. How do you calculate bad air? Then you go to electric cars. Which get power from somewhere. I'll, I'm not going to go into that. But uh, they get power from somewhere. Uh, and you're not from France, obviously. So, a little sussy there. Is that a coal factory? Pause. Is that a coal factory producing all that electricity? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Mm. Uh, nice video. I, why, why is... Why, 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 why do leftists love to put like everything under a blanket? 
like just, See, that's why that's they why like to everything group in one group everything video. into like a one group so you can't even talk to them they're because, like because oh you didn't put it in a group you're you're being toxic or whatever the fuck and it's like no like not everything is the same the fuck uh that's because leftists had a fundamental thing think humans are groups and groups and all these shit and groups are always competing such as men versus women poor versus rich but that's beside the point uh, they also also tend to agree with everything or nothing. You either agree with everything for leftists or none of it. If you de if you disagree with abortion, you must also have a problem with contraceptives. You must they're gonna take away our right to use condoms. What? Leaps in logic, utterly brain dead argument. What? <laughs> and it shows the lack of research you put into this video. But let's unpause. For example, space. Here is a random street in LA. This is how much space the cars get, and here's how much space you get. Seems ridiculous, uh, right? No. It's no. almost like it's almost like no. cars. It's almost like cars need to turn. First of all, no. A vast majority of people use cars. It's like I haven't walked to somewhere in fucking years. And I'm a I mean, minor without a license. I mean, I mean, like, I, 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 I and sure, there are people who walk like uh, there's somebody in the GC. His school is right next to him. His gym's right next to him. All the stores are right next to him. Hell, I could walk to the stores. They're only like ten minutes away from me. However, the amount of people who use the sidewalk is directly. Less than the ratio of the people who use cars, and so it doesn't matter. You don't need to give the pedestrian more room to walk. Hmm. Do you see a lot of people crowded on that street? No. So your argument is invalid. Unless you're having walking traffic jams, like this is a Jay-Z Jay -Z, uh, concert or something, like you're in a mosh pit, then I don't see the issue. Unpause. Okay. Well, I mean, I like locking places, and sometimes I don't have a sidewalk, but that's just sh shitterville. No sidewalk at all is different. Yeah, sh this, that's just shitterville. That's just poor city like, see, design. This, at least they have a sidewalk. Like, bro, like, some places, you could, like, you could have at least brought up a picture of, like, a place with no sidewalks. Like, and that, then that would this, make this sense area that's looks shitty city design. See, this area that's looks actually city. good. Like, I would this would be a goaded place to live. The fuck? Like everywhere in my city, there's a sidewalk. Oh my god! Right. Like, what is this? now? Imagine there's one person standing where the cars are. Uh, All no, of this space false. has been made inaccessible to you. Ah uh, yes. So this is this this no, no. is an argument of so many assumptions. It's ridiculous. One person in each car. Well, no. Well, if Just you have no. to, it, you, the, see, he's thinking on terms of people that live in this general area, and it's like, okay, yeah, sure, people that live in this general area, but like, what if you, what if you want to go, like, what if you're going a long distance, like, come on, like, what the fuck are you thinking about, like, sure, oh yeah, hmm, let me think about the only the people that live in this area, but no, sometimes people need to go like different places, like people need to go like fucking nine miles to like like 80 miles or something bro like well this not is everyone's gonna of assumptions so not everyone's gonna be like fucking living in the same area like you can't just assume hmm, yes you're in a car in this area up, you must up. you must live in this area like no you're just basing this off of a fucking entire blanket statement just like Literal assumption simulator 2020. Yeah, so uh, multiple things to address here. One, the one person each car is brain dead. I don't, I, I don't need to explain that. Two, the the thinking about living in this area doesn't matter. Okay, let's say majority of people who use the road in this area live from this area. It doesn't matter. This the same thing applies here. You don't need extra room to walk. When you walk somewhere, you go in a pretty decently efficient line to where you need to go unless you're sightseeing why would you need that large area to walk in you wanna, doesn't have an answer you're just complaining for no reason you want to walk get you a gym membership 
and get a treadmill. Like, or like. No, th- no, he's 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 not even that. This argument is just dumb. Also, third assumption: you. Most people drive cars. Stop being brain dead. Unpause. I, I, I genuinely, like, wonder, like, how, how often does this person go outside? Like, uh... Well, they little... might be a mainland Europe, in which case they bike everywhere. You know what they have in those countries? Bike lanes. Uh... So, I don't know what the fucking argument is. I love bike lanes. Okay. Uh... Even... And the suicidal. For these few people. Another example. This is Milton Keynes in the UK. This city was built in the 1950s for the sole purpose of accommodating cars. Here's how much space the cars get. Why are we putting up with this? 14% of all space in cities is taken up by car parks alone. No wonder we have a housing crisis. You could put like two blocks- 14%. Pause? Only 14%. What country? What country? Uh, the UK. This doesn't apply to any other country on Earth. The UK is a space limited shit box city simulator. You guys don't know city design. That... Your housing market is crashing. Also, this specific town is utterly retarded. You don't need that many car spaces. There's... As obviously not that many people live here. Bro, at least there's sidewalks. Holy shit. There's sidewalks and the sidewalks are crowded again. So what's the point? Uh, why are we putting up with this? Why do you need the extra room? You don't. Unpause. To flat on that spec, car culture has also resulted in increased class and racial segregation. In the early days of automobiles in the US, city planners would build low bridges around poorer communities who were predominantly African American because these communities could not afford cars. Instead, they were forced to take the bus, which could not fit under these bridges and therefore kept them out of areas with higher paying jobs and better schools. All right, pause. <laughs> this argument is very deranged. Uh, what? First of all, wealth and racial gap. Uh, uh, first of all, shitty British city design. Why is there a bridge there? What? What? What kind of? This fucking... is just exposing your old country for being utterly retarded. By the way, uh, why is that bridge there? Like, uh, like. White people need to use the bus too. The fuck, and also, uh, the black, the black, the, 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 in the past, we're talking yeah. about now. Well, it still exists, but like, it still exists, but we're talking about now. Also, that's just shitty city design. Yeah, that's general. just poor design. That's not. Uh, that 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 isn't that doesn't have anything to do with racism. That's just that has nothing to design. do with cars. By the way, that has a lot to do with city design. How many times are you going to fucking go on a tangent about city design in this video? Your city designers in England are shit. We get it. Move on. You might think this is all in the past, but the bridges are all still there. Overall, cars are dangerous, smelly, loud, take up too much space, are racist, and also I just don't like them. Let's ban them. Go back to that screen. Go back to that screen. You really outdid yourself with this one. And by the way, you're getting BT- BTFO by a 16-year-old, just letting yep, you know. Two All right, <laughs> dangerous? How dangerous in comparison to what? Uh, what's, the categ- what's the difference between being necessarily dangerous bro, and you, you too could dangerous? Get, you could get ran over by a bus. Like, just, just think about that. You could get ran over by a train. I've seen it. Uh, I've seen literal live league videos of people getting just... just they're gone, okay? What's the difference between that's being way too worse. dangerous and not dangerous? That's way worse than losing your legs. Like, if you're just, you're just gone. Like, no one knows where you went. You just disappeared one day because you got just mauled by a train. Like, at least... Smelly. I want to, I want to touch smelly. Our cars don't stink. Smelly? What? That must be a European issue because you guys have so many regulations on your cars smelly. that they must just smell like shit boxes. So, that's not a, that doesn't apply. I don't like them. Nobody cares. You're not funny. Wide. Wide. Why do you need the extra space? You don't. End of story. Loud. Where? Where are the cars so loud that it, like, actually disturbs you? 
like Are you like some goddamn I wanna, sissy? Can you? I want to find where this guy. Headphones? I want to find where this guy lives and just start revving my fucking engine outside of his house just because of how annoying he is. Like, please no, no, go not outside. Even, not even. Not even. Loud. I, how I, are they so loud they're disturbing you? I, I is bet. Is that a European issue? Have you guys not discovered what a muffler is? Oh my god. Two. We're getting Even age without restricted. the muffler, put on some goddamn headphones. We're getting age restricted. Three. This is just this is just harassment at this point. Like, is it isn't it literally illegal to have your car too loud? So what's the issue? Like I you're mean, just bitching about nothing. Who I you mean, want a fucking serene walk in the forest? To go live in the country. Why are you living in a city if you don't want to hear city noises? <laughs> What next? You're gonna go cry, start crying because the goddamn group of people on the street are too loud? Racist. No, cars aren't racist. That's retarded. That's like saying my mic is racist. <laughs> it's like saying the floor is racist or the road is racist. No, Bro, this people book is can racist. be racist, but not objects. That's retarded. Unborn. Bro, the sky is racist. It's white. <laughs> Fucking actual brain damaged ape speaking. <laughs> like them. And also, let's so ban. You want to also, I'm gonna keep insulting you because this video is insulting. So, oh. uh, have fun. Oh god. Them from our cities. Now, that's quite a radical proposal. So, to be fair, we'll take a look at some of the objections people might have. Oh boy. Shall we? Time Objection number objections. one: removing cars would be too unpopular. Here's Times Square in 2008, and here it is now. Look at all those unhappy shoppers. This is Jubilee Gardens in the 1960s, and this is it today. Um, that, that poor woman seems to be crying in despair because she came to see cars, and all there is now is a beautiful garden instead. Mm, yes. Alright, uh, first of all, <laughs> New York is a shitbox, uh... known for how shitty the city is designed. Okay. So this doesn't matter. Okay, let's two. Look. You're taking very specific examples and it, extrapolating them to apply everywhere. Three. No, that's not the number one objection. Okay. The let's... number one objection is you don't need that extra space, and two, you don't have the money to do it. That's the real objection there. Good luck finding the money to replace every goddamn road in every country, dumbass. Okay, let's take a step back. And then three, where, what's, where are the statistics to support that it would be not unpopular? Like, obviously, you, there's a lot of cars on the statistics? road. There's a lot of cars on the road. Like, you're just painting over a, a fucking parking lot. Like, that, that doesn't prove that it's un... That doesn't prove that cars are unpopular. That just proves that... You I had don't... too many roads. Which, again, is city design. Once again... Another city design argument. Well, I don't even think they had too many roads. Like, this is just retarded city design. Like, why? No, I think I prefer having it look nice. You don't need, like, a shit ton of car parking lots. Well, they probably just had too many cars back then. People had, like, two or four cars when they were rich. <laughs> I mean, what's the point? Also, but, like, this is a very... Very, very, very extrapolated example. And also retarded argument. Where is the, the statistics? There's like so story? many layers of subjectivity. I don't even know where to begin with this argument. Like This, this is, is a, a, it's just a it retarded argument. It isn't even an argument. It's just like showing before and after. And, um, Not therefore... even. It's just like trying to bait somebody into being angry. But we're, what you actually accomplish is making yourself sound retarded. Uh, this is a highway in Seoul. Uh, then they demolished it to build this horrific garden that anyone can use. That does look horrific. Like, look, look at this. What, what uh, are you that doing? Looks that's shitty. over. That's overgrown. <laughs> the, it's that overgrown. That looks pretty shitty. They're not maintaining it very well. But also, I don't care. This is more of yeah. the same shit. Like, uh... and I bet you Which above this absolutely... area they have a fucking car lane. <laughs> I bet you. Now you're, well, I bet now, you throughout that entire see, fucking city they have See, cars. if you start removing roads, suddenly you're going to need more roads elsewhere because people are still going to drive cars. Like, this is fucking redundant. Like, oh, yes, let's make everyone not drive a shit. car. We're not even going to waste time with this. It's just, it's just a... Just bait. Nice Terrible, bait I'm sure you'll agree. 
So this is what Orleans in France used to look like, and it now looks like this. this okay. This looks terrible. More of the same shit. Bro, imagine imagine you're late to work and you can't even like. Uh. Oh know. yeah. Uh, we should look at the pre and post late to work rates in France. Oh no. We should yeah, we, just imagine you're late to work and then like you can't even like. It it doesn't even matter. We don't even need to do hypotheticals. This does not matter to the argument. Uh, it just does not matter. Who cares? This is what we in the Yimbi community call a dub. The what? So what does this show us? Everywhere cars Nothing. have been banned, nobody has ever wanted them to come oh, back. Oh, pause, the pause. They banned cars. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, just... Just the empty. The, the... So, you want to know what the side effect of banning cars that they don't mention here? Uh, limited transportation. You can't go anywhere. You're literally stuck in the box you were born in. Like literal slavery. We're talking we about... We go back... No, no, no. We go back to the the chariot days. Just going... Just literally in And you slave. don't have convenient travel that isn't airplane. Stuck in like... So, unless you live in Venice... You don't have any way to get anywhere at a decent speed for cheap. So, also, like, are we not going to just talk about the people who are probably very upset when they couldn't fucking drive anywhere? Yes. Okay, let's say you're bored in one part of the country. How do you get to the other part without purchasing a plane ticket? Let's let's say... Let's do you say that just not? Do you just not... Cars don't magically disappear. Like, hold on. And you want to know what they actually did? He doesn't mention the millions upon millions of dollars or billions of dollars potentially or trillions that they had to spend building high-speed trainways that the government has to pay for. He doesn't mention the amount of taxes that these people have to pay to keep up those services. It's it just utterly brain damage. I don't even want to... Like, do you? This is so blanket statemented. Okay, let's say it's you, not even funny. Let's say you ban cars from like an area. Well, then where are the people that live there gonna park if they already have cars that are like parked there? Does like, the government purchase? Then you cars? have to. Probably then not. you have to build another parking lot just for those people. Like it doesn't make any fucking sense. If you ban cars, how do you phase them out? Where does the metal go? What's the, the you do you just waste a product? Yeah, you do. Mm, yes. Also, this is just another thing. Uh, Europeans ban cars because they just don't know how to drive, dude. <laughs> they like had some races in Europe, and like people were getting smashed because the cars were flying out of the. Like that's just a skill issue, to be honest. Don't aren't European roads just just fucking trash yes they're, they're they are they're just trash mm. sorry we don't have to deal with this in the u.s our city designers aren't shit they like the they'll like wind and like you know hairpins just hairpin spam <laughs> just genuinely like just imagine just just dirt rally just hairpin left hairpin right hairpin left that's the that's the type of shit that the united kingdom has for roads it's just terrible like, oh, I wouldn't want to daily drive this. Wow, that's cut. Wow, it's almost like your roads are like winding. Come back. Believe me, I have checked. Obje wow. That doesn't matter. It doesn't a redundant statement. It's almost like some. It's almost I'm not, like. No, I'm not even going to address it because there's no need to. That's uh, such a fucking biased statement. Objection number two. If we restrict where cars can go, the places where cars can go will become crowded and full of traffic all of the time. Hold on. We no, restrict. this isn't. These are very two specific objections that don't make any sense. I don't care about it being unpopular, first of all, and I don't care about restricting where traffic and. That's not how it works. You can't have traffic of people moving unless you're moving a goddamn army. <laughs> people don't go the same places and they don't walk the same distances. Mm, yeah, so funny. no, this isn't an objection. I've never said this. It's like it's like it's like the people a... the people before had enough room to move. Now they have a lot of area to move. 
Wow! You have like a full hallway of people, and they're all trying to get to the same exact classroom. But no, that's not what people do, because everyone has different classes. I know. Like, I this know, isn't the Roman army marching. This isn't. I, like, I know this the is United a surprise. States military going through Detroit. It's not ever going to be an issue. Okay. <laughs> Like, enough Fine. is enough. Well, actually, Break the opposite argument. is true. Studies show the more roads we build, I the fall. more people drive, and congestion actually fall. increases. I need, I need to see the, I need to fucking, read the statistics. I need to read the statistics. What fucking bullshit? I need to read the statistics. And U.S. continental U.S. between 1983 and 2003. 1983 and 2003. That's so old. By exploiting the fact our data describes urbanized and non-urbanized areas and interstates, along with urban roads, we cannot only confirm the fundamental law of highway congestion suggested by Dowds in 1962, but provide evidence that this law extends beyond urban highways. As a fundamental law of road congestion where extension, okay, we did not provide direct evidence for this law, but also show three implications of this law, near flat demand curve for VKT convergence. What? Where is the statistic showing that adding another highway lane causes an issue? What the fuck? Where does it show? What? What? That nowhere in there did I read this increasing the amount of area a car has to drive causes an issue. Nowhere did I read that. Not a single place. Show me the actual document, thank you. What the fuck? I think congestion story. actually I increases. It it Every time anything. San Francisco adds another lane to their highway, commute time along it increases by one minute on average. It doesn't take a genius Pause. to figure out- Alright, All right. fair. Los Angeles is a shit box shitty home. The, once again, another city design argument. Sounds Los like... Angeles is just poorly designed. It... It's like that road in New York. Where they have all those like these crowded city ways, and then like the two lane road, you choose one or the other. It's almost like people don't know how to drive. It's like and or the road. No, it's shit. not even that. The thing is, you keep citing the issues with city designers not understanding how people move from one place to another in crowded cities. Yes. It is better to have, especially in areas where where housing and business and everything else is all in the same area, have walkways because it's all centralized. But outside of that, where people own cars, the road is better. Literally, the six-lane highway or whatever, that just shows that, one, the demand to drive in that area is very high. Two, the city designers have not designed the highway and the lights well at all. Shows me that they... What about the number of stop signs in the city? How about... What factors were included in this study? Are they just adding lanes or are they are they not adjusting the stop lights? Are they going through the city and seeing how much traffic are going through long specific roads? Like, what did this study actually do to confirm it was only the adage of lanes? That was causing an issue. Did they try anything else to solve the traffic issue? Because, very simply, highways are designed for two-lane, four-lane, six-lane traffic. If they're not designed for that amount of lanes, adding lanes will not do anything to solve the issue. That's not how roads work. You cannot suddenly have a six lane merge into a two lane because the two lane was designed to merge from a four lane. It's not how it works. Mm. Also, going beyond six lanes will automatically increase the amount of traffic because you do not need to turn for more than two directions. It's just brain dead. End of story. I love someone who doesn't do any urban planning, just talking about urban planning and like we need to ban cars or something. It's doesn't always, mean anything. It's always my favorite. If we decrease the number of roads you can drive on, the less people will drive. Huh? 
In New York City, in a trial run of banning cars on some of the streets, buses actually had to slow down in order to meet schedules because the streets were so deserted of cars. Yeah, it's almost like there's like a lot of people that drive cars. Okay, <laughs> uh, that was a lot. So he said the less lanes, the less people will drive cars, of course. If I have to go through 70,000 miles of traffic because your shit ass decided to design a late one lane road to get everywhere, then of course I'm not going to drive. Because it's less convenient for me to drive. If you had designed your city well, then I would drive. This is actually just a brain dead argument. Two, try one of banning cars. Of course they had to slow down. I want to know something. In that trial run of banning cars, how many people were late to work? How crowded were the buses? Could enough people get on the buses? Did they have an increased amount of buses or the same amount of buses? It's almost That's like... That's a loaded statement. There's so much to go with that, that that you addressing that in less than five minutes shows that you are just making blanket statement. It doesn't address anything else. It's almost... That's, how, that's why you made a video... Setting a bunch of statistics instead of debating someone on this. Because if you did, you would have to answer questions like, how crowded were the buses? Did people enjoy the change or not? Mm. End of story. Brain dead statement. I was going to go and use like actual arguments and like explain things, but you have just failed on every level to actually go through and like look at what it takes to design a city or design cars, or what cars drive on. You don't understand traffic at all, even at a basic level. If you have less people on the road, of course you have to slow down, because you don't have to deal with traffic jams. <laughs> Turns out New York is known for its traffic jam. Hmm. Did they ever try redesigning the road? No. Brain dead argument. Moving on. So we ban, we ban traffic, right? And then suddenly there's less traffic. What? Like what? Hey guys, we banned. We banned soda. Suddenly less people are drinking soda. No. Like actually, how brain dead can you get? I, I'm actually surprised. I'm impressed. I'm genuinely impressed by this guy's level of brain damage. Okay. So car traffic, right? I'm impressed with this guy's we banned, level of brain We banned damage. the car traffic, right? And, so and we have know, less cars. You know what happens? We have less traffic because we ninety banned percent of people traffic. let's say let's say let's say hypothetically ninety percent of people also, this is just New York being shittily designed. Okay, look how urbanized this area is. You know what? I'm actually going to explain how traffic works and why these cities are so shit. Look at this. Let's say, let's say in that area, how many people live in that area? Millions? <sighs> True. Cars are designed for what? Four people on average. Let's say, no, let's say cars are designed for five people on average. Millions of people live in that area. Where do the New Yorkers park their cars? Where do they park their cars? Where are the parking lots? Do they have the vertical shitbox parking lots that you see at airports? I don't even. I don't see a parking. Lot. You know it would be the best solution. You know you want to know why banning traffic works there? Because roads should have never been built there in the first place. It's too urbanized. Cars are effective in suburbs and small cities where the number of cars that park and that drive are proportional to the population that needs them. A tool is only as useful when it's used in a proper way. If you use something improperly, wow, it backfires. If you put too much salt in a meal, it tastes bad. This is a fundamental lack of understanding of how things work. The, in the first place, New York should have never been built for cars. It's only because New York decides to be a tourist attraction that they have an issue with traffic in the first place. 
When an area becomes too urbanized, it is better to not have any cars at all. Yes, in that specific case. But you're talking about banning cars everywhere. In fact, it would not be helpful to ban cars in my city where if you live in a certain area, the nearest grocery store is 30 minutes away driving. You do not understand how city designing works in relation to how cars, buses, and trains work. You are utterly brain dead for making this video, and you should be ashamed of yourself. End of story. The buses actually had to slow down in order to meet schedules because the streets were so deserted of cars. Objection. Okay, so the streets were deserted of cars, right? It's like people. It's almost like people. It's almost like the city drive should cars. have never had cars. It's, it's no, almost it's like people drive no, cars. No, no, Rage X. Where do they park the cars? Well, you should well, have. Cars, listen. No, no, no. Cars are not useful everywhere. Cars are useful in certain situations, just like every tool that's ever been made. We like cars because our roads have enough room for us to enjoy our cars. But in a, a super urbanized city like New York, the amount of space you have to park to drive the cars on is not proportional to the amount of people in the cars. For like, let's say all, let's say this was like housing. Where would they park their cars? Well, they don't. That's they why they just don't park the cars. They, you know, when they park the cars and they're like the like spinning car like towers where you have to like memorize a number in Florida you're on. And in in the first place, there shouldn't be cars there. The a lot, the a lot. The thing, there the thing is, cars. the thing is, if you're gonna design a really urbanized area, you should like design it with like vehicles in mind. Is my no, no, there shouldn't just be there should like, just there shouldn't should be, be cars there in the first place. Well, it's a difference, and this comes down to thinking of things as needed or not needed. Everything in the current modern era is not necessarily needed, it is wanted. Cars are wanted because it's convenient, fun way of getting to places. You have radio, you have air conditioning. Have all this stuff. It's nice when you own a car because it's a luxury item or like it's something that your own. People usually talk about their cars and what they own. Cars in a city are different. Cars in a city are crammed into small ass streets that don't have enough room for the amount of cars that would be needed for everybody in the city to use a car. So what they would need to do, Ray Jax, is literally take New York and put it in the middle of South Dakota, expand it 500 times, make super gigantic roads, put giant parking lots like it's like Lego City or something, put giant, like, imagine a field of corn, but it's all parking lots. That's what they would need to do. So, of course, the solution is don't have cars in the first place. Urbanized cities are not designed for car use. They shouldn't be designed for car use in the first place. Where I live, cars are much more convenient. Tools are only as useful as what they're applied to do. This is a fundamental lack of understanding of how things work. End of story. Deserted of cars. Objection number three. How will people get around without access to cars? Addressed all of this before, so I'm not even gonna address it. Put in the thing. Objection number four Public transport is not I as good as owning. Public transport is not. That entire third section is brain dead. So brain dead, I didn't even need to speak a single word while I was going through. You embarrassed yourself utterly. your own car. Now there are many reasons why somebody might feel better driving than taking the bus or the subway. One is speed and convenience. Wow, no shit. 
Why wait for a bus that goes an indirect route, stopping periodically when you can just drive straight to where you want to go? Oh shit. For one, increased bus usage means that more frequent buses and increased routes to meet demand. No. No, I don't want to ride the bus, end of story. We, not everyone should use the bus. People should still be able to drive cars. Like, why, why do we have, use it. I don't want to why use do we have bus. to have everyone drive a bus? Do you think a farmer needs to drive a bus? Hell no, no. No, a farmer does not need to ride a bus. And what if, what no, if, a, no, no. If, list, 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 if we have more buses, if we have more buses on I the road, there's more room for listen, bus accidents. Your entire argument is built on the fact that I want. No, I don't want to. I like my cars. No. Very simply, I'm going to say, no, I do not want to ride the bus. Just like my friends at school who would rather ask their friends for a ride than get on the public bus. You know why? Because people don't like public People don't like riding with random strangers, it turns out. People have preferences. We're not all a bunch of fucking ants who all just suddenly reconfigure what we like and what we don't like to what is more efficient. Otherwise, we wouldn't have the world and different types of people. What are we all? Some like kind of drone like like this is like the this is like somebody who who plays city skylines trying to make arguments for why Different things work and don't work. We're not numbers or AI. People prefer things. It's almost like individuality. In it's almost we live like in reality where things are not perfect. Why? Wow, so, why? Wow, you can't just have individuality. It cur it That's not that efficient. It everybody to drive a bus. The bus has more usage. The bus has better routes. Wow. If you force everybody to what? If you forced everybody to go into gym class, the gym class would be suddenly become more uh, more specialized. They would have different gym classes for different people. And the amount of people who play different sports or whatever would go up. No shit if you make something mandatory, people use it more. No fucking shit. Yo, yo, what if everyone drove a bus? When then everyone we started, listen, when <laughs> armies became bigger and everyone started needing guns and everybody needed, when, when, when suddenly when things became more competitive, of course things become better. This is basic capitalism. When you have more competition or more demand, things become used to the demand. Obviously, no one is debating that. However, I don't want to ride the bus because I would rather not be next to the guy doing cocaine. <laughs> what are you gonna tell me? I can't. <laughs> what are you gonna tell me? I can't. Uh, uh, what are, like what? Are you brain dead? I like how this. I like how this bus route goes from like one lane and then it goes over into the other lane. Like he just drew this shit in with MS Paint. So bad. Fundamental un misunderstanding of how humans work at this point. Mm, yes. So there's no issue there. Existing infrastructure will adapt. Secondly, no, the no fuck. shit. <laughs> Literally, no shit. No shit. No shit. Not for free, by the way. Not instantly. Mm, if yes. you think it's a magic button, no. If you think people won't move out of the city because they would rather have their cars, then you're very wrong. Now how humans work in their story. Why are cities such shitholes? Is this almost... why Europeans fucking try hard video games and shit because they have nothing to work for? Yeah. Like they can't buy their own cars. This shit this shit why they like, why they always depressed, bro. Like like is this why Europeans like are so depressed and like Western countries are so depressed? Because they take away the amount of things you can buy and own. Yes. I like my car. I'm gonna move somewhere else if you ban my car. End of story. I'm gonna ban you if you ban my car. Very simple. Like what? My my vehicle is actually public transport. It's just public transport for one person, and that person being me. Do you have an issue with it? All right, I'm getting okay, local like, law that's, enforcement. That's a bait, obviously, but like seriously, <laughs> no. Just no. If everyone gets into one bus, there will be virtually no traffic. <laughs> If everyone gets into one bus, there will be virtually no traffic. I swear to God. Okay, how big is the bus? 
I'm proud of it as a bus. Let's, people enjoy dude, riding the bus. Dude, this is literally the mouse argument. The Panzerkampfwagen for mouse. This is like this is like when Hitler tried to design a just giant tank that like the entire world could live in. It's literally that retarded. Also, I swear to God. Also, existing infrastructure will not adapt. Exactly. How is a, a fucking bridge designed for cars going to handle buses full of 60 people lined up back to back? It's mm. going to collapse. Hmm, yes. Let's put everyone in the same vehicle. This is a, this is so, this is a, this is such a poorly designed video. You know what? You know what? Let's put everyone in a vehicle. Let's put everyone in the same exact vehicle. This is like if I, this is like if me and you said, put everybody into a car. Like, what? It's, it's, it's like, it's like, it's literally the clown car. Like, this is clown world and this is the clown car. Right here. Like, no shit. If you banned cars everywhere on Earth, people would be forced to use your public transport. Would they enjoy it? Would they like it? What, do you have to coerce them? I no notice how you have to ban. You can't just talk people out of getting out of their cars. Hmm. Does that make you a better person? A nicer person? No. Saving. He's saving the environment. 900 people in one vehicle. <laughs> like, like, this is like, I'm better than everybody else and everybody should be exactly like me. Which is what you think, which is why you're leftist. Oh, God. I'm boss. And you'll just breeze around the city. You can also bypass the road entirely and use a bike what lane. If I, what if Some I might like claim. My car? Hey, buddy. Turns out people like cars a lot so much that they talk about the individual model. I have, in fact, prefer the car company Honda. I like their cars. I like how I like hearing engines. I like how engines sound. I prefer gas cars because I like how engines sound. I'm willing to pay for a gas engine car and all the fuel that it takes because I like the gas engine car. What are you gonna tell me? I don't. Uh, uh, you're harming the environment. What if I say very simply and calmly? First of all, not as much as you think. Second of all. I don't care. What do you do? I, uh, you result to what you're going to do, which is banning me, which is like forcing me to do stuff, but legally. I, which I, makes you no better than any dictator ever born. I just want you to think about that. That this person is willing to force everybody else to abide by his will. I, I like... he thinks he's better. He doesn't ever... For a second, stop and consider that there are different perspectives and that the world is not one solution for everything and that different things don't work for different people. He thinks of people all as one thing. He literally thinks of people as we think of ants. They're all just one conglomerate, all thinking the same way. No. I like how China and India are bigger polluters than the U.S. And then this fucking leftist is like... Oh, we need to bad cars. Ah, they're so polluted. You literally, you literally are just a massive egoist. Go talk to the China. Disguised as somebody who cares Go about something. Go talk to India. You're uh, only using, by the way, I'm just going to break you down completely. You're only using the environment and such as a, wish, a reason to enforce your will. Because... Your life is so meaningless and purposeless. The only way you can feel any type of meaning is to force people into doing what you want. And you do it via the legal system and by making people feel bad and coercing them to enforce your will. Because you're actually too weak to enforce your own will via other methods. For example, you are not stronger than me. Oh my god. <laughs> Same reason why you want to ban guns. Because the person with the gun, if you said... I'm taking away your car, which is shoot your dumb ass. All right, all right. Okay, we gotta stay on YouTube still. Okay, okay. Cut that shit out. <laughs> okay, okay. Public transport is dirty and helps pass along diseases like the recent coronavirus. While research shows people who use public transport are more at risk of catching respiratory illness, the same research also shows that areas with more frequent bus and subway services have lower rates of infection. How does that make any sense? From a, from a bio, from a literal, like, uh... This is a lack of understanding. Literally. 
Under, understanding. Do you, okay, if you so catch COVID, if you catch COVID and don't die from it, and you live and you go back on a bus of people with full of COVID, then suddenly you don't die from COVID and you don't get sick nope. from COVID anymore. Not even that. Not even of that. Not, not even that. When you're around people that are sick, suddenly you will get sick. It's almost like that's like common logic. Like, are are you dense? Like, from a medical perspective, that makes sense. You are around sick people, you get sick. It's very simple. And yet, this fucking idiot cites some st backward statistic that just said, uh, what is it? What? Uh, uh, disconnected the person. The, the, where are monkey. these statistics coming from? You are so these statistics are so. Reality, it's not even funny. Go outside. End if of story. I have, if I have. A sickness and I go around you and you get sick yeah of course you'll die yeah if I get sick and you've already been sick before and we've both already been sick but there's another person who's sick of course we won't get sick we've already beaten the disease however you wouldn't say the same you you this is funny you'll say it's fine because people will eventually just get used to the amount of illness there is but as soon as it becomes smallpox versus the Native Americans, you start trembling. The same exact concept, except more serious, and then suddenly it just falls apart. What happens when the actual super virus that's going to happen because we keep overusing medicine, what happens when the super respiratory disease that can't be just simply solved by the hospital comes around and just fucks everybody up? What happens then? You haven't thought about that. As diseases, as people become more and more used and able to combat disease, disease will become more and more deadly it's, and more resistant. That's how it works. We've already seen this happening. You see, you take one dimension of something and then you fail to recognize that we live not in a one-dimensional world of numbers, but a three-dimensional world. We not only live with percentage, we also live with evolution and change. Things are not static. You can beat the disease 300 times, but when it comes back the 301st time and it's stronger than you, you die. <laughs> And I also want to see what uh, this uh, increased illness and catching illnesses and all this. I wonder what effect that has on the average lifespan of a person. Hmm. You're more likely to get sick in cities. What is the average lifespan of a person living in an open, uh, urban, crowded city rather than living out in the country? I want to know. Nope. I would like to know that. Or a suburb. Uh, you, see, you live in a one dimension. You you argue from one dimension using one statistic, and you fail to realize that we live in a three dimensional world where things not only have cause and effect, but cause, effect, and also direct effect and indirect effect and randomness. Okay. We do not live in a simulation. You cannot predict every outcome. You for, you even failed to predict the basic outcome, which is super deadly respiratory disease comes along, very infectious. What happens to the busway? The entire staff gets cleared out. That's what happens. Let's cram people together like cattle. Suddenly people are getting sick. Hmm. It's almost like livestock get sick. Damn, and I really suddenly... want to include that middle part of the video now, but we got to move on. Because journeys are faster, more direct, and less crowded. Once again, removing cars will They're not. Anyway. They're not. increase the frequency and size of public transport services, alleviating this problem. Another reason is the perceived cost. Buying a bus ticket twice a day every single day might seem like a lot. However, not when you not look twice. at the bigger picture. Not twice. And also, that's not the evidence of the cost, you autist. It's not buying the bus ticket. 
It's the city buying 500 buses to accommodate your shitbox city. I you love... fail to address the argument properly at every single point in this video. You've either assumed, lacked any evidence to support your claim, or simply addressed one dimension of a three-dimensional argument. You argue mm. on the level of a toddler. Mm. It's like a kid asking, why can I get $5? You get paid, let's say, $500 every two weeks. Mm. Sure. Owning a car in the UK costs on average £388 a month due to petrol, repairs, MOT costs, and insurance. Whoa. Cars. No shit. They cost stuff. Anyway. Premiums. And that doesn't even include parking costs. All the while, you can't travel while drunk or high. Ah, uh, yes. I really want to be around the drunk or high person on the bus. That seems like a really fun th way to spend my time. I just love to be around the drunk or high individual on the bus. Average £388 a month yeah, due to gas, petrol, repairs, gas, MOT costs, and insurance repair. premiums. And that does. Mm, yes. And shitty parking because uh, car city, urban, urbanized, super urbanized cities are not made for cars and should not be made for cars. Doesn't even include parking costs. All the while, you can't travel while drunk or high. You mm, yes, I really want to be on the fucking bus with the drunk or high fucking homeless person. That sounds really fun. First of all, that's a difference. A choice versus no choice. You would rather no choice for your opponent, but choice for you. Because you get drunk or high, you would rather ban all cars and you get to drive, have 15,000 buses arrive for your sorry ass. Well, I don't care for you and you don't care for me. So what would we do? We compromise. We have both bus and car. And it's worked like this since the dawn of time. But nowadays, <sighs> you want to pretend as if I don't get to choose and you get to choose. No. He, he wants to project his uh, his subjective city skylines See? fever dream idea onto you because he has nothing better to do with his life. See? Because he's very sad. But this, like, this goes back to the same thing as before. Right, Jack? What I said, uh, I'm going to repeat it, but you you can cut this out. Very simply, if it comes down to that again, because you're not forcing me to do anything, buddy. Very simple. Well, the thing is, they've done this before. It's just that nobody follows it. It's like, hmm, yeah. My car is definitely... The, is, we're just going to have to resort to, like, just gaslighting each other. Mm, yeah. Yeah, my car is actually a bus. It's also definitely electric. Do not check under my engine. Thank you. Like, we're just going to get to the point where our laws are just so retarded and just absolutely fundamentally dumb. It, it's literally that Mexico no one's, tier. The that, amount of laws. No one's going to follow them. There are. No one's going to follow This is them. the same reason why in London you will be arrested for having a pencil too sharp, but the, like, Gang of children getting raped by some fucking immigrant isn't fucking solved by the police. This is how you create the regulations. This is how you retarded. create cartels that of people that just don't want to follow the law because the law is fundamentally in itself absolutely ridiculous. Not even the police are going to be following from reality. This, shit. this not, policy is disconnected from not reality. Not even the police are going to be following this shit because of how absolutely exactly. redundant and retarded it is. What if, hey buddy, what if? The people you're trying to take their cars away from, what if they just say no and keep driving? And what if the police don't have time to chase every single person who decides not to stop for the police that are enforcing a retarded law? What then? We need to ban cars. 
Yeah. Well, damn, buddy. Go ahead. Try how it. How do you? How will you enforce that? Try it. Well, it goes back to the again to you. You're the UN, and I'm Osama bin Laden. Very simple. Except there's like a hundred million of us instead of just one guy. Exactly. Like, yeah, that sounds like a real fucking good way to do it. When motherfuckers, That's very cool. How will you enforce that? Motherfuckers joining the military will not give two shits about this. They're going to come home, and you know what they're going to do? They're going to start breaking the fucking law that you've created. See, you're going to keep enforcing all these retarded restrictions, except no one's going to follow them because they're retarded. You're responsible for any accidents that happen behind the wheel, and you have to sit in traffic jams. Wow, it's almost like people should get better at driving, and or learn how to drive. Compare this to public transport users. In London, which has the- Yeah, I, I really want to be in public transport, and then get knocked out. Just, just, just like, get into like a fist fight with the homeless guy, and then get like- thrown onto the fucking tracks and then like just get ran over United Kingdom violent crime statistics stole emoji mm. wonder why so many people stab each other to death over there and why they're so unhappy and fucking grumpy all the time because they gotta look at each other's ugly ass faces the highest public transportation cost in Europe the average commuter only spends 150 pounds per month on transport much lower than the average driver and on nights out, they don't have to nominate some poor sod to be the designated driver. Objection number five. Mm, yes. Number one, don't Won't drink. It hurt. Number two, don't fucking. It's almost don't. like it's almost like drinking and smoking are bad for you, and thus you shouldn't do that. Don't get high. But like, even past that, what if I, buddy? I'm willing to and, and fucking even if I lived in UK and I had shitty gas rates. What if I just like cars so much that I choose to have a higher cost to drive my car? What are you gonna say? You can't just spend your own private money that you work for to drive your car. Mm. Like li literally, how how stupid do you sound speaking? What if I just say, I'd rather spend more money to have fun driving my car than to listen to your retarded law? Very simple. Good luck telling the car show guys that they can't drive the cars anymore. <laughs> to the economy? I'm trying to convince them that with your gas is too expensive for you to keep on driving your car. They don't care, and I don't either. Uh, won't it hurt the economy? Of course it yeah, will. Yeah, it will. It will. Because it's just, it's nothing but a fever dream. Like, you're, it's never going to work in real life. It, no, Why are no, you even... it just will. Nah, bro, it'll definitely work. The farmer, the farmer has to wake up at fucking two in the no, morning. No, no, let take it play the... out, let it play out. This is so retarded, you don't even have to address this. Yep. Everybody Somehow, knows the car industry. this is a resounding no. For starters, yeah. the 4.5 million dead people that cars cause per year. Huh? 4.5. The statistic changed, by the way. 4.5 million dead people. Alright, bro. And the statistic changed. I just want you guys to know that. Anyway, continue. Year through accidents and air pollution don't contribute to air pollution. My, my great grandmother died of air pollution. Source for that? Source for that? You know, you know, you know, my, they calculate that? my, my cousin, my cousin a few weeks ago, you know, he, he, he just died of air pollution. He just like rolled over and died of air pollution. He like took a breath and he was like the shit ass. And then he just fucking died. You know, honestly, a terrible thing that happened to him. Yeah. Anyway, short any business other than the undertakers. That. When Barcelona banned cars on through roads in 2013, businesses on these roads reported higher returns and receipts. Passers by walked slower, enjoyed their anything. time outside more. What was their effect on the economy? Browsed in more shops and bought more things. The value of these businesses also increased between 10 and 30 percent simply by the fact people were walking near to them rather than driving past. Large open spaces also allow for pop up stands to do business too. Food trucks, ice cream. Wow, it's almost like it should have been that way in the first place. Like. 
Of course, if you don't. I wonder. I wonder. Did they uh, happen to lower taxes on small businesses at this time? It's almost like you should not they, have so, a road for some reason, where legalized? businesses are. Like yeah, you should this have is already. You this should is have already proven before. A walking... Don't have roads where the amount of people it would take to park there, or like a business area like a mall. This is the same reason why malls exist and why they did so well. Because when you're going out shopping, just walk from store to store. Uh. This is, these are not what cars are used for. Not in general. If I want to go shopping at a shopping area, in the first place, it should not be car driven. I don't want to drive my car from the shoe store to the GameStop to the eating place to the goddamn uh, J.C. Penny. Like what? These are why balls exist. Cream vans, street vendors, performing artists, merchandise stalls. That's got to be good for the economy. Taxi drivers out of work? We're going to be needing a lot more bus, tram and subway drivers anyway, that's for sure. And construction workers to convert the streets from road into public spaces. Car companies? Okay. All of them also make buses. Okay. What is the point? This... Also, you did not cite a single statistic. Notice how when he asks something so retarded as if it won't hurt the economy. Where is the statistic of a country that has banned cars and the effects on the industries? Also, of course, when you force someone to build only buses, they're going to build more buses. If you create a sudden demand for buses, they're going to build buses. Doesn't mean they wanted to. Doesn't mean that the people wanted to give away their car. Just because, also, just because something's work does not d justify it. Just because something exists and works does not justify it. You have to justify taking away my right to have a private vehicle. Or convince me. Unless you can prove that I myself do not deserve to have my own car, then your argument does not matter at all. Very simple. All you're being is a dictator and a dickhead. End of story. Bro, North Korea could really take some facts from this guy. Like, he just seems like he belongs. He belongs under Kim Jong-un. He, he sounds like, like he, he makes he, he makes would... us look like good people. Now I feel like the leftists, like my rights are being violated. Okay, let's say let's say you ban all the cars, everybody adopts buses, everybody suddenly doesn't get sick and doesn't start losing lifespan. Trust. And everybody's forced to live. Everybody everybody enjoys that. Everybody goes along with it. Well, let, let's not pretend because that won't happen. But everybody gets in the gets in the buses and buses and all your all your changes happen. I love I love getting you I love completely getting factor out the human side of it. You don't care about people who like cars. You don't care about people who build cars. The mechanics who like cars. The industry. You don't care about mechanics. You don't care about taxi drivers. You don't care about people who just do cars for fun. You don't care about their hobbies at all. You just want what's more efficient. You want to know what's super efficient, buddy? If you would not make this video, go outside and fucking like do something with yourself rather than embarrassing yourself online. You 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 like I'm not let's let that was a weird way to say it, but like the what's more efficient does not justify it necessarily. Because if I had, if everything was ran efficiently, people like you would not exist. They'd all be dead. And people like me would be everywhere. And the world would be ruthless. But you guys don't like that world because you're not strong enough to exist in it. You want to implement your fantasy changes, but you don't want to actually go, like you use efficiency to justify something, but only when it works for you. Because if I were to justify certain actions with efficiency, you would say I'm a terrible person. 
Well, I don't like this thing, so let's just get rid of it. Even though uh, other people might like this thing, I just want to get rid of it because it's I don't like it personally. It's just not efficient. I love modernist. Efficient, my ass. Modernist. Cars are much more efficient than fucking buses in the in fucking small towns. I'll tell you that. Ah, that's a boss. Oh man, I forgot what I was gonna say. Don't even worry about it. This video, we've already BTFO'd all his other arguments. Let's just go. <sighs> Let's just go. Alright, hold on. Efficient Make no mistake, there are plenty of business by. opportunities to be made from people only streets, and the effect of pedestrianisation has on businesses are pretty good too. Clearly, the evidence and arguments are in favour of removing cars from our cities. But how would you go about doing that? The answer is simple. We must do everything in our power to make life a living hell for motorists. I hope you have a spare kidney because it's going to cost you £12 to drive your car inside the city limits every single day. Also, speed limits are capped at 10 km per hour for personal vehicles. Have fun driving at a snail's pace, you fat moron. Want to park your car at a car park? Sorry, there's a price and a 50% sales tax. On street parking? Doesn't exist. We're also adding a ton of bikes and bus lanes, meaning car users are now Notice how, how notice how few the bikes there are. There's like one. There's like two bikes. Two bikes, bro. I like how deserted and empty these cities are. The, see, there's people like this that probably don't go outside or have never even ridden a bike or even gotten on one. And then there's there's Chad's like my boy Ethan. He just he just like rides around on his bike when there's no fucking bike lane. I have, I have a I have a cousin right. He has a car, but he like doesn't have his license or whatever. He's just soiling for that. But he doesn't complain. He doesn't cry about how people have cars. You know what he does? He actually goes out with his bike, rides like an hour and a half to his job, does his job, comes home, and he doesn't need a fucking massive bike lane. Yeah, like you don't need this lane. Just, just, just have, just have a little street smarts, like, cars are, are gonna be in the right lane, so you should stay in the left lane as a pedestrian. Why is this so goddamn hard for people to understand? <laughs> if there's no sidewalk, stay in the left lane no, 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 so you no, can no. see a it's car coming. Up because it's bait. It's just bait. It's massive bait. Let's, like, make, like, living hell for motorists. Dude, if you got something to say... Because the guy with the swag, Matt, like, dripped out Supra, did something to you. Or the guy with the cool Honda. I, I know, I know he stole your girl, bro. I know he stole your like, girl, bro. Like, beat you up and stole your girl. That's cool, bro, but we don't care. Like, we get it, bro. Somebody oh, really fucking no. just logged your ass in high school and had a cool car. And now you're, like, on this campaign against them. Nobody cares, though. <laughs> Cars are At overrated. At the end of the day. Who hurt you? Who? Like, literally. <laughs> Did you see how emotionally charged he was? He's so... Just... Oh, my God. Let's make live life living hell for motorists, dude. <laughs> so... You sound like a goddamn... You... He got you cucked. Must be so goddamn he bro got, bro got, like, cucked so hard by, like, some guy with, like, a fucking Honda Civic. Just, like, just, like, the straight-piped Honda Civic. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> guy, just, just, just his, his wife. His wife left him for that, for that guy. No, just... no, no, he caught that dude with the, like... Ripped out Lambo in his fucking house, fucking his wife in his bed, bro. He couldn't handle it. I swear. Uh uh. Uh uh. This, this, dude, this is just a damn fuck. roasting session, bro. Uh uh. No second class citizens on the road. Public transport is now free and has a budget the size of the frigging moon. We're going to install a national Heck belief that cycling yeah, is patriotic and we're also. Taxes for that? Notice how in this video, this video 
fails to address guys, anything. So guys, if we if we just print more money, the economy is gonna go go up. No, 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 no. no. It's not even. <laughs> this this video fails to address very important points. The cost for the government to implement these changes. Hold on, this off. <laughs> It's just funny because it's, it's like, it's like a toddler trying to explain like algebra, and then and the. <laughs> okay. It's like a toddler trying to explain algebra, and they just. <laughs> like goofy, bro. We're gonna have a rentable electric golf cars to get around the town. When more and more people ditch driving and make the move to public transport, we'll finally ban all cars from our cities and No the fuck you won't. <laughs> okay, uh, very simply, okay, I'm gonna wrap up all our points in one thingy. Um, your reasons, your death statistic is slow. Your pollution statistic is really dumb. Uh, I don't know how you would calculate that. Uh, and also it doesn't matter. Uh, your reasons for banning cars are either short-sighted, don't address the full scope of the argument, or you straw man, or you li literally fail somehow in every single way in this video to address all arguments. The only thing I might give you is that banning cars would be more efficient in cities. In very, very urbanized cities, like how Europe has them. Like on specific... Banning all cars, yes, would be more efficient. Unlike... However, <laughs> what you fail to realize is, one, people are different. There are people who like cars. You're never going to stop people from like cars. Two, just because something is more efficient does not justify it in any way. Just because you have a statistic does not mean you prove anything in any way. You have to be very specific. Your, your statistics are very broad. They're very easily just BTFO by, like, how, why, which, where. You don't specify. You do very general arguments, and you're very clearly emotionally charged against cars. You're objectively biased. You're soilent. You fail to realize the scope of the arguments. And at the end of the day, I have two questions for you. In places where they ban cars, where is, what is the taxation rate? How expensive are these programs, and is the government in debt from it? Once you answer uh... those for me, you have an argument. But until then, you don't have an argument, because you have failed at every level to mention taxes or taxation and cost of public transportation at all. You've mentioned cost for the person, but not for the government, and how the citizens would pay for it. That matters. You have failed to support your argument. So, Brit monkey, you British fuck. This is why I don't like British people. You British fuck. Next time you try to do something as dumb as, say, ban all cars, you should probably try a little harder so that you don't get BTFO'd by a bored 15-year-old on his computer. Who just needed some entertainment. Dude. My dude. my fucking my the, the the slowest person in my class could come up with better arguments for betting cars. We're we're literally we're gonna we're gonna be at this point where where us just dropping this video is gonna be hate speech. Like they're just gonna say Oh, you like cars? That's hate speech now because we said so. Like, we're getting to that point of, like, just 1984-ness, where, like... No, but I'm glad you showed me this video, even if this video never becomes a thing. Because it was fun, it was entertaining, and this guy's a fucking jackass. No, this is part of their agenda. The Great Reset. This is this is that bullshit. They, they, want, also, they want everyone uh, to ride public transport. I also want to ask them. A couple of other things. How do you get from city to city? Train? Okay. How do I get from one hour of the city to the other city? Bus? How long does the bus take? How expensive is it? How convenient is it? Also, on the buses, what are the rules and regulations for riding on the bus? Since everyone now has to use buses, that means murderers, kidnappers, rapists, all those people have to use those now. 
where before they would use their own identifiable vehicles. Now they use a massively used public transport system. How do you track people? How would you track bus to bus travel? Let's say somebody commits a crime, they steal something. Now, if you get your shit stolen at a business or public area, you're fucked completely. You're fucked. They get on one public motorway and suddenly one out of 600. You're done. You fail to realize how truly big the effects of changing an entire way of transport is. Now when a kidnapper stages a kidnapping, they have to plan it out much more furtherly. It's not going to be as easy to track them. And they're less identifiable. That's just going to increase crime overall, because crime comes down also, to an individual level. And when you think like, about most crimes, like stealing, robbery, rape, if you have more people interacting with more people, you're going to have more crime, because that's on an individual level. Exactly. This is why the British uh, violent crime rate is so high. That's just going to create... That's why people get stabbed to death in London. There's too many people. Suburbs. Of course, people with disabilities will still be allowed to drive and park cars in the cities, as is the case in all places that have currently banned cars. For those in rural areas, go ahead and keep driving your cars, but be warned that we're also coming after motorways. Yes, I also want to touch... Mm, yes, motorways. Why? You get across a country without getting into an airport. Yeah, you want to come for motorways, interstates, all that shit? Why? Like, what is the, what, what? That's why I didn't put it in the video. Let's not even address it, because it nope. is an argument. Briefly on getting it's rid of argument. motorways, it's autobahns, that... and highways, too. No, how is not, this, how, I, 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 this not, isn't an argument. That's, an no, argument. no, 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 no. no. The, not, see, now the argument, it. see, now the argument started. See, you, yeah, you made, he, he, all, he, all, he, all this shit, this whole nine minutes shit, yeah, that's all been bullshit so far, but now the argument's really started. Okay. Nope, nope, not, that's not, nope, that is bait, Rajax. We're not even going to take it. He doesn't address anything. He doesn't say anything, so he loses by default. You don't have a reason to take it away. You haven't presented anything. Rail travel is less damaging for the environment, that. looks way nicer, is probably cheaper than paving over vast sway. Probably. 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 <laughs> probably. probably is not a argument. I love probably. Looks better is not an argument. I love probably. Does less damage to the environment is one argument. I don't care. Does less damage to the environment. How? How? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, the same. The amount of space cleared, you're going to have to use, you're going to have to have more trains. The train railways are going to have to be more maintained. A train. Things do not simply disappear and reappear. A train. You not just suddenly take everybody driving a car on a motorway and then put them. A train cannot a do train? a U-turn. A train cannot turn. A train cannot choose whether to get on or off a ramp. A train is not as convenient. A train only gets you to a general location, not a specific location. Whereas there's so many roads that it's not even an argument. It's just like pop. It's like stop. it's like, it's like getting ratioed. You're just getting ratioed. You're literally getting ratioed. Like, there's just more roads than there are trains. If there were, like, even if there were more railways going everywhere, that would still be inefficient as fuck. Because railways inherently have to go only forward. They can't go backward. Because if you have a train going backwards, then guess what? There's going to be a train coming forwards, and you're going to have a train collision. Do you know how many train collisions there are? There's quite a few, and I've seen a lot of them. It's almost like train collisions are caused by something. Oh, and you want to know something else about trains? Trains can't stop as fast as vehicles. So you're just creating a, ma a way bigger hazard. Way bigger. So yes. If you take a railway. If you make more railways, you're going to have more accidents on railways. And that's not going to be a good thing. Nope, don't even explain it because he used probably. Well, probably. Just move on. He doesn't have an argument no, here. No, Zilla, even if you make everything a fucking railway, you're going to have train collisions. 
Like that that's gonna be way worse than any fucking car accident. Um, let's not even hypothetical argue him. Very simply, if you take away the amount of cars, you increase the number of trains. The trains have to have more lanes, the trains have to be built to go to different places. The trades have to be more regulated. The trades have to carry more people. The trades have to go faster. The thing with trains are is that they can only go straight. Because if you have trains going reverse, then then you're gonna have train fucking collisions. And trains do not. Trains are not as convenient. Trains don't stop. Trains don't re U turn. Trains do not stop at McDonald's. Trains do not do any of that. Shit. Uh, yeah. And the, we will argue on arguments in the future. Let's oh, replace simply? let's replace this thing that's been for the last hundred years the backbone of like everything. Not an argument. Very simple. Uh, let, Very let's simple. let's replace what has been a backbone the backbone of the American industry for. Uh, uh just because it's old doesn't mean it matters. Uh, first of all, uh, you overall don't have an argument. Aids of countryside with asphalt lets you enjoy the stunning scenery, lets you read, work, no, and talk face to face on the way, has no traffic jams, and barely car. any noise or air pollution. Barely All any noise or pol- barely well. any noise. I can hear the fucking, hear train, fucking train from two miles He's away. Like- Literally lying Fuck do you mean barely any noise? Imagine like eight different fucking trains just barreling. You're gonna think a damn tornado's going on. Uh-uh. Not as convenient, not as fun. Very simple. In summary, cars are disgusting, and if you live in a city, you are morally obliged to use public transport whenever wow. possible. When we shift no our shit. municipal no, psyche away from a culture of cars towards you're pedestrians and communities. You're just retarded, and also. You're just obliged, you're obliged by existing in the city. You're obliged by choosing to live in a city. Exactly. Versus morally. This is why people like you do not win arguments. We are not forced to do shit. Morally, uh, just arguing anything morally. Just, just stop transport cities will start to become more enjoyable places to live and work instead cities of just being hospital. enjoyable exactly cities being enjoyable lol <laughs> soulless hub of tarmac removing uh, no they'll always be soulless soulless hub of tarmac they'll always be soulless nothing will ever change soulless that. hub of tarmac hmm. they'll always be soulless <laughs> and they'll still always stink It'll Bug, still always look bugmen, like bugmen arguing about <laughs> obstacles to economic growth, social spaces, class mobility, and gun health can't ever be a bad thing. Of course, getting rid of cars won't turn cities into utopias overnight, but it's wow. a good start. Heck, utopia. And also, the, I don't con- like cities, so the concept of a utopia is inherently val- inval- invalid. We, we're not going to explain that. That's bait. The video is over. We're done. Uh, overall, Brit Monkey, uh, stop arguing like a literal fourteen-year-old girl and on the debate team, and you'll be doing better. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna compare you to that because I've had more coherent arguments from literal fourteen-year-old girls. I've had fucking better arguments done by fucking high school girls on why. <laughs> My government doesn't work, literally. I've had <laughs> arguments. You're just a very angry hipsqueak who knows that he would never be able to force anybody to do anything. Angry hippie so tries to argue explain. on the basis of morality, of efficiency, and of your weird little because me, it's good. But I say no. Your argument for why cars in the city shouldn't be a thing? Okay. I agree. New York should have never been designed for cars. But you say ban all cars? No. To say I can't own a car? No. To say you're going to make life a living hell? That just shows how immature and how slow you are. We get it, bro. You, you're you sad that you fucking don't understand why I would choose to go drive by loud obnoxious car whatever the fuck okay and i'm gonna wake up tomorrow 
I'm going to straight pike my vehicle and I'm going to drive to your house and <laughs> rev up to six gear over and over. Okay. <laughs> End of video.